Included with the Spielberg lens flare you're seeing right now. I miscalculated. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome to this little special Inuyasha vlog. Because believe it or not, we finished season six. Yeah, like, we finished it. Last week's arc was the last of, essentially, the season finale. And I'm as shocked as you guys are. So, here's the thing with what I've discovered recently. Is that I was mostly watching the season six DVD, right? And then at some point, I switched over to Netflix because Netflix finally put out the everything up to season six. And it was a lot easier for me to digest it all through Netflix because I was able to, um, you know, basically work simultaneously and then do my vlogs and then come back and work. However, I came across an interesting discovery that a lot of season six is not on the DVD. It turns out I, I miscalculated. I was about to go into the next arc unaware I was going into Season 7. Because on the back of the Season 7 DVD, this is what shocks me. It says episodes 147 and 160 through Season 6, and then 161 and 167 from Season 7. Season 7 is only 7 episodes! I am shocked! Which means that essentially, season seven, because it had seven episodes, the show was canceled. Wow. So, I, I know technically I'm still not done season six, because I still have seven, eight, nine, still got four episodes left. However, I want to reserve that. I think I want to reserve that for season seven. Because I, looking at the way the story was structured and the way that last arc left off with Kagome re reviving Kikio, bringing her back, to be honest, I think that's a good place to end Season 6. Because it, it, it just feels like there's a bit of closure there and it allows us to move on to the next adventure. Sure, we still have to deal with Princess Abe. Sure, we have to still deal with the, the uh, potential defeat of Naraku. We don't know. And plus, we had that great arc, the tragic love song of Destiny. And honestly, I think that's a good place to end season six. For me, that's where it ends. And I think it's a good way to close off uh, this run. Uh, so I'm going to give essentially my overall thoughts on season six. Plus, I'm going to discuss going for what's going to happen with the vlog. So Inuyasha season six is for the most part, I'm going to be real with you guys, it's better than season four, but it is one of the weaker seasons. And that's only because, unfortunately, it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of issues. It, um, it basically just has too much filler and not enough plot. There is definitely plot, essentially by the end of the season, by the end of the series. We, we have a plot at long last. But a lot of these episodes were filler. It does suffer the same issues I've been having with season four. Too much filler. And it's a shame that there's only a few episodes to pick out of season six that I actually do genuinely like. I find the, um, the arc or the episode with uh, Kanta was adorable, sweet, innocent, and to the point. I did feel the opening season with like the, the food and the modern era... That was okay, that was genuinely funny, and the tragic love song of Destiny, along with the finale, are great episodes. In fact, it, this, this is the unfortunate thing about Season 6. It has a lot of filler, and it is one of the weaker seasons, but god damn it, it has my favorite episode. And that's a shame. Like, that's a real shame. And it goes to show that I think the show was starting to show signs of uh, deterioration, i.e. people were starting to tune out. People were just not watching it much anymore, so it was sh showing that the show was starting to wrap up. And, and on top of that, 
the ratings were probably in decline. They had an, a fourth movie on the way, which we will discuss after season seven. But yeah, it just it's kind of a shame how the trajectory just went downhill. Uh, but from this point on, uh, and honestly, it, because it has my favorite episode, because it has some decent episodes, I will give it a pass. It is a good, solid, I would say that for the most part, altogether, about a 6 out of 10, um, maybe even a 7, only because of the tragic love song in Destiny, but I will admit, this is one of the weaker seasons of the show. It doesn't really hold a candle to the sheer amount of amazing saga-inducing events of Season 5. And plus, we just got after after the third movie. Um, but it is okay. It's not, it's definitely my, my probably my second least favorite season of the show. Uh, but I overall, at some, I was entertained by it, and I did have a good time. So, going forward on the Inuyasha vlogs, I think for now... I'm going to take a much decent break uh, until I get to the last season, because we have one more season of the original series, and then the fourth movie, and then we go on to Final Act, and then Yashihime. We're getting close to the end here, guys, which is pretty sad, but but it feels so relieving. I, um, I'm going to be taking a very long-term break, um, at least maybe getting season seven going by 2024. And ironic, because the show ended in 2004, so we're kind of on the same time frame as the show's uh, original airtime 20 years ago. And I mostly want to take a break because I do have to focus on other projects. I have to focus on my eighth season of my show, personally, and um, I want to start getting episodes out and really focus on that because they, the vlogs, in terms of just reviews weekly, whether it be... It's funny, because we actually also finished the Skull Island vlogs last week. Um, these vlogs are fun to do, but I definitely do need a much-needed break from them, because they they were a good pastime, but they do take a lot of time out of me. So, um, I'm going to be taking a break for about, a, about six months. Uh, about five or six months, just to recoup and just get things back up and running by the end of the year. But I do want to thank all of you for sticking around for season seven of the or season six of the Inuyasha vlogs, along with our other vlogs. Um, and it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun ride to take a look at season six and see where the show's going from here. And it's really appreciated, especially you know you guys watching that these plus the movie three review, which is doing extremely well. Love it, and you guys make this worth coming back to. But of course, let me know your thoughts on Season 6 in the comments section below, and don't forget to support our Patreon. Just a dollar more will get you early access to all of our content, as well as other special features. In terms of uh, things like, I don't know what's happening with uh, the, the franchise going forward. I don't know if they have plans for a third season of Yashihime, or a fifth movie, or whatever. I don't know. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys uh, for the final season of the original series with uh, with Season 7. Um, it is not the end, far from it, but it's the end of an era. Because after Season 7, there is a 10-year hiatus that a lot of us had to go through. Maybe afterwards I'll do a little vlog kind of just talking about that time gap. But for now, this is it for the year. I really appreciate you guys coming in. And thank you all so much for watching. So until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off, and I'll see you in Season 7.